Hey guys, hey guys. Today I want to talk to the brand new immigrants in the United States. If you've just recently come to the U.S. from Africa, from uh, the Gulf, from wherever you came from uh, around the world, welcome to the U.S. Um, I want to talk to you about the places that you can go to shop if you're starting over where I personally started over, like when I was starting my own life. Once you're hosted here in the U.S. by someone, you're not expected to stay with them forever, right? So at some point, you have to grow your own wings and fly. So when you're starting over, there are some places that you can go to get everything that you need at an affordable price. Because when you come here, maybe you don't have a good job yet. You're just starting over. There's a place that most people go um, and get everything. It's like a one stop shop. A lot of people are asking me, Lucy, uh, show us Delaware. Show us a few places in Delaware. We appreciate the videos that you do about visas and, you know, the professional, like formal videos that you do. But they requested that I start doing some videos outside, you know, showing people uh, a little bit about life in Delaware and uh, what's going on here. So um, I had a question from someone who recently got here, I think over the last six months. They've been here for six months and um, they are ready to go on their own to start their life by themselves. So they ad wanted me to tell them, they asked, where did you shop for your apartment when you first came to the U.S.? So, uh, <laughs> yes, uh, there's this one place that everybody knows about. Uh, it's Walmart. Walmart is a one-stop shop for affordable living. If you're starting over, if you've been here uh, for years, it doesn't matter. So here we are. Um, I've just parked my car. I took the um, the bag, the grocery bag, because now we don't have any um, plastic bags anymore. You either bring your own bag or you buy the bags or they have paper bags. They used to have paper bags, but they don't have them anymore. So um, this is me walking. This is the entrance of the Walmart. They have pickup services, but you know, as a new immigrant, you're going to the store. You're going to the store and getting the groceries yourself and the things that that you need. So this is the front door of Walmart. Walmart is a huge, huge store here in the US. It's, uh, I think it's in every state, if I'm not wrong. I think it's in every state. This is not a paid promotion. <laughs> this is not a paid promotion. It's just that Walmart is just one of those things. It's, uh, it's synonymous with everyday life. So uh, no, it's not paid. I'm just showing you uh, the different sections. Once you come in, they have frozen foods. They have packed lunches. Uh, they have the fruit section uh pineapples things the pineapple season mangoes bananas so i'm just walking around showing you the store i'm actually didn't need to shop for anything because i just did my grocery shopping like two days ago flowers uh, potatoes so this is the uh, vegetables fruits and vegetables section cantaloupes lemons oranges watermelons onions uh that, that over there in the corner was the deli section deli is like sliced meat for sandwiches turkey ham uh, all of that and then this is another frozen section breakfast foods waffles pancakes and this is the ice cream, ice cream heaven. If you love ice cream, all different kinds of ice cream. You find them there. Over there, there's some clothes on that end, but we'll go there uh, later. More frozen foods, pizzas, frozen pizzas. Um, 
more frozen foods, dinners, frozen dinners, fries, French fries, French fries, ni, uh, ni chips, potato chips. Um, no, we call them chips in Kenya, but uku ni French fries. Chips is just something different. Chips ni kama crisps. This is the meat section. Uh, call ground beef. Ground beef in Kenya, we call it minced meat to make spaghetti and all that stuff. Ground pork. They have ground turkey and uh, sausage. This is the uh, meat aisle. Uh, they have meat, st uh, beef stew, cutlets. They slice them up for you. Or you can buy chunks and go cut them up yourself. They got chicken, pork, sliced pork, ground turkey, whole chicken, chicken breast, chicken legs, salmon, fish, different kinds of fish on this aisle. Then they have shrimp. I'd never seen shrimp until I got here. I didn't know what that was. And then flounder, tilapia. So the tilapia here is frozen. They have different sizes. You can buy those. I think it's three of them uh, for 20, uh, is it $10 or whatever. And then tilapia fillets is uh, skinless and boneless fish. Uh, different sizes for different prices depending on your pocket so that's a smaller size up there yeah sometimes I get those but we also have African stores that sell fish so you can go to those ones as well so this is a huge huge store it's like a warehouse with all kinds of things so this is the cheese heaven um, there are so many different kinds of cheese when I first came here i didn't know anything about cheese i still don't like cheese so i really don't care so much about cheese but uh, they have all kinds of cheese american swiss parmesan goat cheese cottage cheese all kinds of cheese on this uh, on these aisles so this section is for bacon and sausage and all that good stuff eggs you can get organic eggs that free range that don't get any antibiotics and all that um, and then it's like kienyeji eggs and then these are the other kinds of eggs so it's a, uh, it's a thing here when you get to the eggs you open to make sure there is none that is broken when I find your assessment you assess the eggs you check them out make sure they are not broken and then you pick the one you want 18 of them or 12 dozen half dozen one and a half dozen and then uh, uku ni kwa yogurt, uh, juice, cold juices. And then there are the regular room temperature juices over there. So you can pick whichever you want. Then milk and butter, margarine, all that. And then over on this other section, so that section was the food section. On this other section is like household things, paper plates, uh, when you, you know, uh, paper plates, paper towels, uh, toilet paper. Paper plates is uh, when you don't feel like washing the dishes. <laughs> you get paper plates and discard them after you're done. Napkins, uh, like I said, uh, paper towels. So this is the paper and cleaning section. Cleaning supplies for um, your laundry laundries uh fabric softeners cleaning things for the house all kinds of laundry detergents depending on your preference kunailaya if you have allergies or sensitive skin and then kuna via to even their shoes in the store different kinds of shoes for kids for adults so i'm just walking down the aisles just showing you different things in the store it's a huge store um then on the other side is clothes, clothes uh, are total, kids clothes, baby clothes, toddlers, women, men, teenagers, uh, juniors they call them. Uh, junior section is for the teenagers. Uh, so all kinds of clothes here for less affordable 
you know, it's affordable for when you're starting off uh, for the middle class people or, or, or just for regular people. Uh, this is not a high-end store, but it has everything that you need uh, to get your life started and to get your life going. So this is the clothes section. So many clothes. Uh, it's organized in different departments like food, households, clothing, um, uh, stationery, office, entertainment, uh, toys section is is huge. It's, it also has a, a garden. It has a garden all the way in the back. So we're still in the clothes section. So is there any stores in Kenya like this? Because when I was uh, back in the day, we used to have Uchumi and uh, Nakumat. Those were the ones that I used to go to uh, on my way when I, on my way to Shags from Nairobi. And I will buy my mom some shopping at Nakumat. I don't know if they are still there. Squeezy Naskian in Naivas and and um, I don't know what else is there. Uh, let me know what's uh, what's popping in Kenya now as far as grocery stores and and shops. Zile kubwa kubwa my supermarket. So over here we are crossing over and we are going to household items containers of arranging for arranging things if you want to organize your small apartment or big apartment uh, different things that you need for the house and then prior to that over there on the other end is entertainment so we are walking over to the entertainment section what to are my headphones uh, what to are my as uh, video games, Xbox, you know, all kinds of uh, electronics. This is the place to go. Different TVs, all kinds of sizes. Sizes that TV in Joizo. And then uh, they have a photo uh, section where you can develop your photos, desktops, laptops, all of that electronics, more TVs. My first TV that I bought for myself, I was very proud of myself here in the US, was a 32 inch, 32 inch, squeezy 32 inches like, a, it's like a monitor, yeah, computer. <laughs> uh, 32 inches, small nowadays, but um, yeah, that was my first uh, electronic purchase here in the US. So we are still in the electronic uh, section. You can get phones here, landlines. Uh, what? I don't know if anybody still uses those, but uh, more huge, huge, big screen TVs. So we are back over here to the home section. Actually, July 4th is about to be here. So that's why they have these patriotic flags in and things. July 4th is usually Independence Day here in the US. It's a huge, huge holiday. Stationery, uh, if you're in school and you need supplies, my printers, nini nini. Yeah, all that is here on this section. Look at how big it is. Look how big it is. It's a huge tool. Uh, those are tables that you can uh, open up. They're flexible, bendable. You know, you can buy those if you don't have money for furniture yet. Um, bean bags, oversized bean bags. These are comfortable for sitting on. They're very comfortable. Oversized bean bags. They are popular with teenagers also. On the other section is toys for the kids. If you have little kids, there is a whole section of toys. Uh, on the, in this store, you don't even need to go anywhere else. You can just come and shop for everybody. One stop shopping. Vacuum cleaners. Uh, obviously, if your house is carpeted, which most apartments are, you'll need to clean the floors, the carpets, cleaning supplies for the floor, luggage, uh, bags, uh, travel accessories, and your easel. So everything that you would need. I don't think there's anything that you would need here that you won't find when you're starting over. Ironing boards, ironing um uh, irons, doizo, 
actually I met my husband uh, true story I met my husband in a Walmart when I went to get uh, to buy an iron <laughs> when I was brand, brand new here that's how I met him uh, and uh, the rest is history so there you go um, section uh, what section is this oh this is like the sporting goods section I came here because they have these inflatable mattresses so if you don't have money yet to buy like a big queen size or king size bed you can buy an inflatable mattress and these things are comfortable they actually feel like an actual bed so you just inflate it you plug it in you inflate it and then you you work a sheet supper and you just go to sleep and this can hold you up until you're ready to furnish your house. They actually even have a, um, I'd seen, it looks like a sofa, like an inflatable sofa. That's a queen size one. And then uh, I had seen something that looked like an inflatable, oh, there it is, an inflatable sofa. And then a kind inflatable thing for if you have a small baby that you want them to uh, take a nap there. So more, more stuff, sporting goods. Um, but I was here for the purpose of that inflatable mattress. I wanted to show you guys that if you're, if you're big on fishing, then you, there's fishing rods there. Um, I've only done fishing once. Um, I don't know much about that. But the first time I did it, I caught like three or four fish. So that was good. Uh, the thing is you catch and release you don't catch and take home. Um, I guess depending on the size, something like that. So more outdoor supplies, Uku. If you're going camping uh, with your kids and stuff, uh, swimming, fishing, things. Yeah. Um, then we're moving over to the section Yama Yama, Uku. Uh, ladders guy stuff, uh, tools, building stuff, supplies, Virudaku fix, hao, toilet, bathroom, toilet seats. Uh, this store has everything, to be honest. Shower heads, shower extensions. Uh, what else is over here? Just nicks and nicks zanyumbani, things that you will need in the house, tools, cleaning supplies, accessories, just little things that uh, you think you don't need until something goes wrong in the apartment or in the house and you're like, I'm going to Walmart to see if they have this and then you go to Walmart and they have it. Yeah, so fans, more tools, toolkits. Uh, this is a guy's heaven. When I used to shop with my husband, I used to be on the other side of the store and he used to be on this side of the store and then we'll meet later <laughs> when everybody's done shopping for whatever they're shopping for. Um, what else? So, so here is like bathroom stuff, towels, towels and rugs for the bathroom, soft things, throws, uh, towels and washcloths, wash rugs um for cheap not not cheap but affordable so you can buy like a whole set like that uh don't start looking at the price and converting because that would drive you crazy once you get to america just stop stop with the conversion because you'll never buy anything it's only contour rugs that you put around in the bathroom around the toilet and then more towels different uh different colors so when you're starting over, this is a good place to come and just shop for the for the apartment. There are more beddings, comforters, comforter sets. Yeah, they come with a sheet and uh, the pillowcases. More comforters, different designs, different sizes, and the prices are there. So they they sometimes call them bed in a bag, bed in a bag, Jew. Once you buy that bag, it has everything you need. It has a comforter, sheets, fitted sheets, flat sheet, and pillowcases. 
then the sheets if you don't have that in the bed in the if you don't get a bed in a bag you just get a, a comforter then you can you need to buy sheets for the bed and they are also affordable different sizes different gonna bamboo sheets if you want to be bougie uh, but uh yeah uh, cooking supplies cooking pots and pans are part of this section it's showing you different different pans different pots uh, kitchen supplies so many to choose from so depending on your taste or what you're trying to cook if you like to cook or if you need to cook then there you go uh, shower rods sh uh, shower curtains uh, uh, curtains uh, hao, different colors uh, different sizes different fabrics depending on your taste you can get that here and those are the rods different designs affordable there you go uh, pillows for the sofa uh, rugs this is nitro rugs uh, the carpet decorative rugs shag called soft they're called shags they are uh, very soft different designs different sizes so there we go uh, still walking around walking around in the store getting different things mirrors clocks all that this store is huge it's huge uh, lamps with their uh, lampshade uh, alarm clocks do these things still work like people still use this a lot of people now have their alarms on their phones but if you don't then use that to sit a lower job don't be late simwage uh, unga make sure you set your alarm so you can go to work all right more curtains here these are picture frames and decorative uh, art for your apartment you can get that here uh, little uh, decorative things for the house plants little plants and in little pots frames to make up pictures for your family and loved ones and there is a thing you and me and the dog americans are huge here with they value their pets so yeah dogs are important here uh and most of them stay in the house by the way not like uh simba that stays outside <laughs> most uh dogs in kenya's night was simba I'm a, what are the names now ours was called simba and he used to be outside uh pots i mean plates candles if you want your house to smell nice Uh, moving on, bigger two round equals to knives, uh, cups, you know, different things that you'll need in the kitchen. I was looking for a muiko, uh, but I didn't see a muiko. I saw like, a, I saw like serving spoons, wooden spoons. That was the closest thing that I could find close to the muiko. Yeah, but um, whatever works, whatever works. But I was able to get a muiko somewhere. I don't remember where. So this is where you buy the knickknacks for the kitchen. Serving spoons, mixers, and yo Muiko. It's not really a muiko. It's like a flat, flat wooden spoon. Okay, now we're moving on to the pharmacy section. So you can get your medications here. They have a pharmacy uh, there. And then uh, nutritional supplies, the insure, nini nini. Medicines, over-the-counter medications for headache, for cold, for, for whatever. If it's not prescribed, you can get it over-the-counter. Toothbrushes, soaps, uh, hair supplies, uh, lotions, makeup beauty supplies i didn't go way into the beauty supply it was so many people and i didn't want to capture people's uh on my video so here we are moving on to um 
actually they have another section the pet section that's a huge section just for pets all of that is for pets like three or four aisles pet care they have their own section and then we are going over to the garden section but before that here are some seeds so it's the spring season it's around it's in april so this is when people plant their seeds so upper i'm looking at different uh seeds so you want to plant them in a pot and then after that you transfer them to your garden if you have like a, a small kitchen garden or some people here have actually they have farms here in the u.s so pumpkins and uh, peas uh, tomatoes peppers hot peppers sweet peppers squash i ate squash once i don't know what's the difference between squash and pumpkin i don't like the taste so i only ate it once um peas uh brussels sprouts there are many cabbages <laughs> yeah moving on yeah peas so you plant this in a pot and then you let them uh, germinate and grow kidogo and then you transfer them to to your garden and then you have the plant food to help grow your plants and uh, your then over on the other side is grilling stuff, uh, nyama choma, vitu za kuchoma nyama, uh, things to help with uh, when you're choma nyama. And then that's the charcoal for the grill because summertime is around the corner. Then over here we have another section, is the, uh, they call it the garden section, but uh, it's springtime so they have the chairs, the pillows to put outside for the... Uh, chairs outside for the patio is uh, only my pipes that could spray water because this is when we are planting and so we need to water the seedlings and the plants and then so this is like uh, they have the soil for planting you only keep your quicker fertilizer when you're spraying the the yard uh, more soil more soil more fertilizer for planting so this section every season they have different things for that season so this is spring season so they have spring uh, weed workers you know if it was a katanyasi uh, weed spraying you know just to get rid of the weeds because this is the the planting season and the when when the plants grow and stuff and um, more planting stuff if you want to put your plants in a pot you put this mix in there you don't have to go looking for soil you get the potting mix it's already treated it's already good to go and then you plant your seedlings in there or you plant your seeds in there so i'm just walking around showing you that in case you you are one of those munapenda planting stuff i am not but that doesn't mean anything <laughs> that doesn't mean that i can't show you around and then we go outside and go outside they have now the plants so we have perennials perennials they are dependable flowers that come back year after year so this is the time they're coming up of the ground but they don't they die and come back annuals annuals bloom with color that lasts all season but then they die after that so the following year you have to plant another one perennials you don't have to plant them they will die and come back shrubs shrubs and come easy too that you they are at the front uh, you trim them nicely they look nice and then tropicals uh tropicals are big bold blooms that give color all season very nice so if you want to decorate your outside or your inside, my wheelbarrows and your iso, you come here and you buy the cup plant and then you go and take care of it at home. Usually every plant has a castica there that tells you what that plant is and how to take care of it. So yeah, this is where the potted plants are. So this is the part I was talking about. So if you want to, you want a potted plant, then it's in a pot like that. 
when you get home you transfer it to to your to your garden or you can hang it come easy they're pretty those are just uh, annuals you have to plant them every year so on this other side they are the seedlings so if you don't want to buy those are the pots if you don't want to buy these are the, the things to simamisha the plant so that it's not going all over the place if you don't want to buy the seeds then you just buy the seedlings they've already been planted different kinds spinach uh, kales broccoli how many people don't like broccoli here? I used not to like broccoli, but I do now because I, I cook it differently. I think the first time my experience that it wasn't nice. Curly kale. This is the sukuma zikona curly kit, I think. <laughs> curly kale, there are different kinds of kales. Kunai, kuna collard greens. Then there's spinach. There's hybrid. Uh, Barney spinach, celery. Uh, what else is here? Brussels sprouts, collard greens, nyoyo, cilantro. Cilantro is dania, I believe, yeah. I used to confuse between cilantro and parsley. Yeah. Mint, rosemary, dioezo. So if you don't want to plant the seeds yourself, you just get the seedlings, rosemary, dioezo. Uh, you get the seedlings and you take them to your house and continue to take care of them. Tomatoes. One time I planted a tomato uh, on my front porch. I didn't expect it to grow that big, but that season, I, I didn't buy tomatoes. Uh, it had so many tomatoes uh, that I was proud of myself. It was just one plant, by the way. It did good. Uh, moving on, we are now coming back inside the store and we are walking back towards the exit so like i was saying if you're just starting over walmart is a one-stop shop uh microwaves Dioizo. by the way uh, i first saw a microwave back in the day in our estate there was only one lady that had a microwave like nearly one a sponsor so i don't feel bad i think i was 22 or 23 at the time I was like, wow, I didn't know what that was. But uh, yeah, that was the first time I saw a microwave. I didn't even know how to work it, so I left it alone. Blenders, dioio, um, pots, small pots and pans. Uh, we are going on our way out. You have to walk back. It's a huge store. So yeah. Uh, what is this? This is the card section uh, with the gift party items. If you have a kid that's having a birthday, the party supplies here, birthday cards, all that. And then we are walking back uh, through the accessories for the ladies. Summer hats, spring hats, socks. I think over here they have uh, uniforms if you're a nurse or if you work in healthcare they have uh, they have uniforms up uh, so for for affordable prices because uniform squeezy I don't know why they're so expensive because um, they used to sell them as a set but I don't know where they got this idea now to separate the top and the bottom and start selling them uh, differently. Because, for example, like this one is $18 for the pants and $18 for the, for the top. So that seems a lot. But if you go to other places, that this one would be $25 or $26 and the top would be the same amount. So uh, if you compare that way, this one is a little bit cheaper. So if you're in healthcare, you can start here. When I was starting over, they were start um when I was a CNA, they used to sell them as a set and now get pata for like nine ninety nine. That was a deal. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get five of those so that I can work, you know, my five days a week. Yeah, okay, so you're going back towards the exit. Uh there are self checkouts lanes most of the time. You bring your own bag. 
they don't have supply bags anymore so a lot of times when people forget to bring their bags and on they're carrying things in their hands on their way out the door so bring your own shopping bag so um done walking around now i'm leaving and uh i should have used the other side so i'm going through the emergency exit and it's going to beep but uh, i just followed that guy and came out so on this side there's a little coffee shop on the right and there's a salon nail nail shop over there uh, there's a bank uh, 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 around the corner there's a um what you call this thing uh, uh what do you call that dry cleaning yeah dry cleaning services and an atm there's a bathroom so this is like a one-stop shop so i'm done now i'm walking out towards my car um, i just wanted to encourage everybody that is new here it gets better i, I know we struggle when we first come. It's a new country. We are starting afresh. But keep pushing forward. Remember your goals. Remember why you're here. Thank God for every day. Thank God for the opportunity to make your life better. Don't be lazy. Keep working. Uh, respect your hosts. Uh, be grateful for them. Um, and then strive harder to just... Uh, leave the host and go and start on your own uh, follow the laws of the country don't get in trouble that way and then uh, everything is gonna be okay remember to thank god every day for the gift of life and for the gift of the opportunity to be in this amazing country thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe i'll see you guys later